When the uh, typical Westerner um, thinks of other cultures, say uh, uh, the Islamic world, um, Latin America, uh, Russia, uh, South Asia, I wonder what opinion most people actually form of these uh, these cultures. Um, uh, it's been my experience that a lot of people, I travel to a lot of places on earth, I, I travel to a lot of places that a lot of people wouldn't want to go. I was in Sri Lanka in the midst of a civil war, I was in uh, um, Burma just after the military cracked down, I uh, vacationed twice in Colombia in the last six months. Um, and a lot of people say, what are you going to those lunatic asylums for? Why, why are you going to visit these dangerous places? Um, well, it's very interesting to see the reaction of the local people in those countries to people that look like me. I'm six foot one. Um, I weigh over 200 pounds, uh, closer to 230 really. Uh, I have the, uh, the buzzed haircut and the goatee uh, that is often associated with, shall we say, the more nationalistic, racially nationalistic uh, Caucasian people, at least here in North America, although I'm far from that sort of person. Um, and this might come as a surprise to a lot of people, but people in, in, in countries like this are intimidated by white people um, on a number of levels. Um, first of all, we're bigger than most people. If you've ever been to Asia or Latin America um, or the Islamic world, you will note just how much bigger uh, uh, Northern Europeans are uh, from uh, from other races. You're in, in Asia. Oftentimes, you're head and shoulders taller than everyone else. Uh, that, in and of itself, can be unnerving. Um, uh, to uh, someone who's smaller, even though you as the larger person might not notice the effect that you're having on people. Uh, secondly, we tend to, uh, especially people from the English-speaking world, like Canada, the United States, the UK, Australia, we tend to be more aggressive, at least in our mannerisms. We're more likely to start shouting, um, to start uh, flailing our arms around, um, than, say, someone in Asia or the Arab world or Latin America um, where this kind of conduct is seen uh, in, in, in Southeast Asia or a lot of uh, Far Eastern cu cultures as confusing. Uh, they don't quite know how to react to it uh, and it's embarrassing even to them. It makes them very uncomfortable, this powerful... Um, anger and aggression, that they, which they, they simply don't know how to relate to, to a, a, a quite a threat, which is the way that it's perceived, say, in Latin America. Once you, once you start to yell, um, that's the last, uh, the last step towards uh, before actual violence breaking out. Um, so <clears throat> it's interesting to see that we may have these ideas of other cultures being dangerous, uh, or aggressive or violent because we, we turn on the news and we see yes civil war in Sri Lanka um, uh, social uh, uh, chaos in bits of Indonesia um, uh, near civil war in, uh, in various Latin American countries the high crime rate the high murder rate this kind of thing and, and we feel sort of justified in thinking that yes uh, European or Northern European people uh, are calmer, more civilized, uh, more orderly, um, which may or may not be the case. I'm not saying that it isn't, but it's interesting to see yourself from uh, through the eyes of other people. Um, we are seen, and like I say, this is particularly true of people from English-speaking countries. We're seen as people that are more likely to, to, to explode, um, especially when we're, we've decided to do a little bit of this, um, if, uh, say, a, a, a Japanese gets blind drunk, which he might, he's not going to do anything. Uh, he's not going to start throwing chairs or anything like that. But a Canadian might. Um, and uh, a, um, it could actually lead to aggressive behavior. Um, it's just something that, uh, that I think is, is very healthy for us to... Uh, to do on occasion is try and see ourselves through the eyes of other cultures. 
Um, I, again, I'm not saying that that um, that uh, white people or Northern European people or, or people from English-speaking countries are more savage, or are more um, more uh, more prone to aggression or violence or anything. I don't believe that at all. Um, but it is interesting to see that we may have stereotypes about um, about the violence and aggression in uh, in other parts of the world but on a personal level uh, they have their own stereotypes about us neither one I think is really all that accurate um, but I think that it's human uh, to sort of think that um, that our culture is we're, we're the good people they are the violent people it's human to be that way but the problem is, the other guy is thinking the same way about you. Thank you.